It was the title that caught my attention in the Italian series Tutto chiede salvezza, Everything Longs for Redemption, or Salvation. The idea that we need to be saved is very much on the foreground in our church life. Listen to this line from Mars. We look forward to the blessed fulfillment of our hopes, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wonder if people in the church recognize themselves in this statement. Are we really hoping for salvation? And what do we actually need to be redeemed from? Mind you, this is not a detail in the Christian faith. Saviour, Salvator, is not just the title Christians have given to Jesus, it's also the meaning of his name. God saves is the translation of the Hebrew name Yehoshua. There is even a branch of theology that specifically focuses on salvation, soteriology. So, it's not unimportant to ask the question, what are we to be redeemed from? 20-year-old Daniele is compulsively admitted to a psychiatric ward of a hospital. He has to stay there for a week because he attacked his father after a wild night and under the influence of drugs. He ends up in a room for six. The confrontation with the other lunatics is harsh. Gianluca is an unstable young man who is completely messed up because of the way his father reacted to his sexual orientation. Alessandro is catatonic. Contact is impossible. Mario is a wise, somewhat elderly man with a condition that can make him dangerous. Madonnina is a pyromaniac who only cries out for the Virgin Mary's help. And Giorgio has the body of a boxer, but the mental age of a child. At first, Daniele doesn't remember what he's done and thus feels he's out of place among these disturbed people. But gradually, with the memory of actual events and with greater self-insight, an affection for his roommates emerges. And moments later, his eye catches Nina, an actress and influencer admitted to the ladies' ward after an attempted suicide. The title of the series comes from the poem Daniele reads at the end of his stay, at the funeral service of Mario, who died after an unfortunate fall. The poem goes as follows. From the heights, the highest point of the universe, through the skull and down, to the hills, with the speed of light and beyond, through every atom of matter, everything asks for salvation. That's the word I was looking for. Salvation for the living and the dead. Salvation for Mario, Gianluca, Giorgio, Alessandro and Madonnina. For the madmen of all times, overwhelmed by the institutions. Salvation. Salvation is the word Daniele was looking for, the poem tells us. A few episodes earlier, we heard Daniele's inner voice refer to this search. I would like to tell you what I really need, Mama. Something I've been carrying since birth. That follows me everywhere, like a shadow. I've been trying to give it a name since I was little, but I didn't find the right word for it. This unnamed need lies at the root of Daniele's unaccountable and irresponsible behaviour. But the trigger for the skirmish that leads up to this admission is much more concrete. For his work, Daniele has to visit the family of a former classmate, Marcello, once the smartest boy in the class. There he discovers that Marcello is mentally disabled for the rest of his life due to an accident. Daniele is moved to tears and so deeply affected that something breaks inside him. At first, he escapes into the intoxication of nightlife, but in the middle of the night, when he's sitting at home in front of the television, intoxicated, he breaks down, starts smashing things, and incessantly shouts hysterically, but what's the point of all this? His terrified parents try to calm him down, but his father pays for it, with a serious head injury. 
When Daniele reflects on this with the psychiatrist, he puts it this way. I have one question, just one. Is there a cure for how life is? How do you cure it? I mean, everything is meaningless. If you look for meaning, they think you're crazy. But if everything is meaningless, then I want to die. Behold the essence. We want to be delivered from the meaninglessness that looms in every human life. Because, make no mistake, in the series it's not only the patients who fight their demons, we also get to know the vulnerability of the nurses and doctors. Everyone longs for meaning and purpose. Everyone asks for salvation. But why is that not the title? Why is the series called Everything Asks for, asks for Redemption, not Everyone? Could the inspiration be found in the New Testament? In his letter to the Christians of Rome, Paul writes around 50 AD, For the creation waits with eager, longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. End of quote. All of creation, everything, struggles against the despair of utility. All creation looks forward to deliverance from the bondage to corruption and hopes for glorious freedom, Paul says. I recognize the struggle against impermanence in the figure of Mario. The kindly man who sets himself up as Daniele's mentor in the series looks out of the window at the nest in a tree every day. There he regularly sees a bird that other people do not see. To Daniele, Mario explains that he once saw a bird resurrected. Daniele asks what he means by that. Well, first it was dead and then it lived again, Mario says. In mythology this evokes the image of the phoenix, the bird that rises again from its own ashes. In the biblical context it reminds me of the Holy Spirit descending like a dove. In any case, in this image, there is a life force that transcends impermanence. I don't see him, Daniele says, putting into words the experience of so many people in our Western culture who may long for this seeing but don't seem to find access to it. Mario's response moved me. Sooner or later you will, I'm sure. Not coincidentally, Mario is the only person to die in this series. Not coincidentally, Daniele expresses his desire for redemption during his funeral. Not coincidentally, this takes place in a church, the San Filippo Neri in Aurasia church in Rome. Not coincidentally, the immense painting in the background shows how countless people gather around the 16th century saint who in turn addresses Mary seated on her heavenly throne. All are seeking salvation. Creation will be delivered from the bondage of impermanence, Paul promises. And you know what? At the end of the series, Daniele does indeed see the bird in its nest. And then there is room for the glorious freedom of the children of God, we read in the letter to the Romans. These Italian series also provide an image for this. The 10-meter diving board of the Cursal in Ostia. With his friends, Daniele had stood up there. Everyone had jumped, but not him. From his bed in a mental institution, he calls such a jump insane. He says, diving is always a sign of insanity. Why dive in? Why are you risking your life? Everything points to the danger, the derangement of the dive, but... Others seem to ignore that, as if they don't realize the possible consequences. Only I see them, crystal clear, more real than reality. Daniele dares not venture into a shaky and fragile existence. The final scene of the series takes place on this springboard. Daniele and Nina are a couple. But they don't make the leap. Disturbed. Nina calls it. In the conversation that follows, she explains that she might be pregnant by Daniele. 
Now, in earlier episodes, this had come up. Patients entering into an affair during their admission and the pregnancy that could ensue. Probably in the past, this led to an abortion, was then a quick conclusion. Or not, Daniele says. Perhaps he's become a rock star or a charismatic priest who wants to save all madmen. Such a figure as Saint Filippo Neri, you would think, the one depicted in the painting in the church, remember? In this context, it's exciting how Daniele will react to the news up there on the diving board. What should happen to the baby conceived during the psychiatric hospitalization of these two fragile people? If this is true, surely that's a beautiful thing, Daniele says. And when they take each other's hand as a viewer, you just know these two are ready to take the plunge of life. They have found something of salvation.